It's all about risk. It's all about calculated risks. You tuned into this because you want to learn how to make $4,000 in a day. And I'm going to teach you that. Making $2,000, $4,000, six, eight, ten thousand dollars in a day is not going to happen if you have zero skills. You, my friend, acquire the skills that will make you more money every single day by taking the risks, by pushing yourself further. Today is an example. When you watch this silo falling down, I need you to understand. They called me a demolition expert in this interview and I had to laugh a little bit because it's been 30 years since I ever knocked down a silo. To do this job, I had to YouTube it. Yeah, I had to figure out, ah, how did I, how did I used to knock them suckers down when I was 14, 15 years old? And that's when it all came back to me. But do you see the risks that are part of every project you take on? And I want you to see every project as an opportunity, as a learning chance. Whether you win, lose, or draw, it doesn't matter as long as you learn. If you so happen to go south on a project and it doesn't turn out the way you want, you will never repeat that job again, my friend, because you will look at that project, you will see where you, yes, you, went wrong. It's your fault that the job went wrong, not somebody else's, because you either didn't take into account the factors that lead to success, or you just missed something on your bid, or anything else that happened, it's your responsibility that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Those are the good jobs. Because I guarantee you, you will never repeat that job again at that price again. And do you see where the projects that don't go so well can be as valuable as all of those projects that put a ton of money in your back pocket? For me, every job we're on is a learning opportunity. And I need you guys to understand that you're gonna start taking risks, you're gonna start pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, you're gonna start taking on bigger projects, you're gonna start landing more jobs, you're gonna start putting bigger money in your back pocket, and you're gonna learn every time that that job doesn't go so well, and you're gonna do it better the very next chance. This demolition job was that in action. Let's see what happens. Concrete silos have been standing for more than 60 years. The concrete silos have been empty for decades and the crumbling. So the decision was made on the O'Brien farm to keep the barn but lose the silos. Nearby power and phone lines had to come down for the day. Then holes are made in the silo so a large cable can be attached to a tractor. To make sure the silos fall on open ground and not into the barn, the concrete is knocked out on one side with sledgehammers, very carefully. Then, a little tug from the tractor, and kaboom. Absolutely terrifying. I was so afraid that something would go wrong and somebody would get hurt, but these guys did just a phenomenal job. We recycle it all, too, so we take we separate the debris out and uh, the concrete goes to one place, gets ground up, reused as road base, the metal gets recycled. And not a lot of people own silos anymore, and it's really kind of sad to see them go. When I was a girl, um, I found a lot of kittens in that silo. <laughs> the demolition, demolition crew said those old-style concrete silos are disappearing fast. Most of the new silos are made from steel. Well, the next one minutes on the farm was some decades-old silos. Look at that. We've got to recap this thing because this is a huge point. You want to grow as a business owner. You want more opportunities to put bigger profits in your back pocket. You're going to start to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. You're going to take on projects that maybe you're just not comfortable with. When you're finished with that job, you now have an education that will stay with you forever. And you're going to look at the numbers you gave them and you're going to go, did I do good? Did I do bad? How did I do on this project? And I don't care if you went, the, the job went belly up on you or if you knocked it out of the ballpark. That's not the point. The point is you're going to analyze how that job went and you're going to figure out a way to make it go better the very next time. And every time you tackle a project, you're going to get a little better and a little better and a little better until you finally have it nailed down. I love you guys, I love you gals. I want absolutely nothing but the very best for each and every one of you. Please hit the like button, please share this video, please let other people know about it. Why? Because I want the whole world to have an opportunity. I want the whole world to make their dreams come true. I think when that happens, it's just, it's just a better place. God bless, God bless each and every one of you.